In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a split text animation effect in Premiere. To begin, I just added a video track with a text layer to my timeline. Let's begin by duplicating the text layer. To do this, hold down the Alt key and drag the text layer up onto the track above. Then move the duplicate off the original so that you can see both of them. Change the fill color of your duplicate so that we can tell them apart. Next, let's add a line to our project by going to File, New, Legacy Title, or by using the Ctrl T keyboard shortcut. In the Title Designer, select the Line tool. While holding down the Shift key, click and drag to draw a straight line through the middle of your original text layer. Make your line even on both sides and longer than your text so that you have room for the animation. It's also a good idea to increase your line width because a thicker line will make the next steps easier. Before we continue, make sure your line is exactly in the middle of your text, so move it if you need to. Once you're finished, close out of the title designer. Drag your new title from the project bin above the two text tracks on the timeline. Select the text with the line through it and head over to Effect Controls. Under the text setting, click on the rectangle to create a mask for the text. Drag the mask's handle so that you can only see the bottom half of the text under the line. Once it looks like this, select your duplicated text layer. Reposition it so that it's completely overlapping your other title. Then go to Effect Controls and click the rectangle under the text setting to create a mask for the top half. Drag the handle so that you can only see the top half of your duplicated text above the line. Alright, now we're ready to add the animation. Make sure your duplicated text layer is selected and then go to Effect Controls. Position the time head to where you want the animation to start. Click the stopwatch next to position to create your starting keyframe. Move the time head to where you want the animation to end and increase the position property's first value to create the ending keyframe. Then click the left arrow to move the time head to the first keyframe so that the time head's position is set up for the next animation. Now select your bottom text layer on the timeline. In Effect Controls, click the stopwatch next to position to create a starting keyframe. Move the time head to where the top half's animation ends. Decrease the position property's first value to create your ending keyframe. And now when I play this back, we have a cool looking split text animation effect. Alright, and that's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.